Today we're going to do a little tutorial on installing a uh, quick clock universal kit. First we're going to start with the matrix, the Polaris matrix. I don't have the factory bolts, so these are actually the bolts that come with it, uh, come with the kit. So normally factory bolts, you're going to remove them. Handlebar is normally right here. Once you remove the top clamp, these four spacers that come with the kit are going to sit down in these cavities here to fill that void. You put the clamp back on. Remember the handlebars are still there. You're going to take your kit and you're going to decide <clears throat> how if you need to run it in the lift position or in the standard position. This is the lift position where the brackets are actually sticking up. Uh, most matrixes, the trail sleds, it's going to require it to go up. Um, You'll be able to determine that when you're, if you put a taller riser or taller riser on, you're probably okay uh, in a standard position. I did already put on the actual clamping bracket just to speed things up. And these will go on like this. You will put all of your bolts in. Normally, again, normally you'll be able to tighten those up. This riser isn't the right riser, so this is a different thread, but you get the idea. On your matrix, these will thread in to the, the main riser. Once it's all lined up, and then you tighten all these, the four bolts up here, and you're pretty much good to go. We've also talked about in the, in the past, some of our other videos, these two bracket uprights here, if you're only running the main bag and you don't want this, you can cut them off. And obviously not for everybody, but some people are feel you know are, are capable of doing it. So cut it off, use a paint marker to touch up the, the black, and then you don't have these brackets sticking up. So this is a non-matrix. This is actually off of an axis. I've already loosened. These are the factory bolts that clamp the handlebars down. I've already loosened these. Um, so the handlebars would be in here. Remove the hardware. You will, not, you will not use those bolts again. Put your clamps back on top of your handlebars. All you're going to utilize on this particular setup is going to be the bolts, the little bit longer bolts that we provided. So you're going to take, if you're going to run the lift position, you're going to take, put your bracket on like so. If you're going to run it in the standard position, you just flip it over and run it like that. By running it in a lift position, it gives you about an inch and a half more height. It all depends on your riser height. Once you've determined, once you get this how you want it, whether you're lift position or standard, you're going to drop the bolt. And you're going to tighten these back up to factory torque specs, torque specs. And you're going to take your actual clamping mechanism here and you're going to attach here using the hardware provided like so. Everything's slotted so you can adjust everything. So there's four of those that you're going to put in the put onto the bracket. Now if you're running both bags on both sides, you'll do the same thing on that side that you do on this side. This is the Articat riser. So I've already took the bolts out. At this point it doesn't matter. You pretty much figured out how this works. Handlebars go here. And this, this you're going to use everything that comes with the kit. What we're trying to do is these spacers here are to compensate for the hump in the, the top plate. So you're going to take your bracket, you're going to drop the bolt in, you're going to put the spacer on, and then these O-rings hold the spacer. It's just to make it easier to install everything. It's basically an extra set of hands. 
So you do this. You're going to put them in like that. And then once you have it started, take a razor blade and cut those O-rings off. Because that's what they're meant to be used for is just just to hold the spacers in place. So now we've cleared the hump and tighten those tighten those bolts down. Factory specs and then do the same thing where you're attaching your your bracket here that holds the the actual bag and that's pretty much it. You'll use everything in the kit for Articat and Skidoo uh, that in most most cases some aftermarket risers uh, you're just going to have to determine, do you have to clear something or you don't? If it's flat, if it's flat like this one here, you're not going to use the spacer because there's nothing to try to overcome there. So 